What is the PSC system and why is it important? All of that and more on today's video. Uh, let's rewind to 2020. We introduced the speed rail rigging block for the Ultra Isolator, which allows our customers to use that module as a standalone suspension arm, like you would a black arm with existing speed rail rigging. We get tons of messages from customers who are asking, hey, what do we do about speed rail? And we quickly realize that there is no modern, versatile solution that allows you to travel with speed rail, build whatever length you want on site, and then break it down and fly home at the end of the day or at the end of the shoot. So we start concepting and developing different ideas and we ultimately arrive at what you see here, which is the PSC system, which is really all based around this, the performance speed rail coupler or what we call the PSC. And what this is is a fail safe coupler system that allows you to join two lengths of performance speed rail, which have these cross drilled holes together at whatever length that you want. And what's unique about this system is that it not only clamps the two pieces together, but because of those cross drilled holes, you also have a fail safe that's built in to the joint. We have a lot of customers that do stuff on the racetrack, on off-road, so like side-by-sides, UTVs, and it's really critical that this joint never fails. And so we designed the PSC joint to actually be stronger than the rail itself. So in the event that you ever were really overloading a speed rail, I'm telling you right now, that this coupler is not gonna fail. It's gonna be in the rail itself. The PSC system is available in a couple of forms. You've seen the PSC complete sitting here in front of me, which includes the flight case, 10 pieces of four foot speed rail, two pieces of two foot speed rail, four PSCs, and then the whole jig and tooling. Uh, we also have a starter kit available, which includes just two PSCs, the whole jig kit, and tooling. And this is for guys that already have speed rail that they want to appropriate to make compatible with the PSCs. All of the other pieces that are available, even the 48 inch and the 24 inch pieces of speed rail are available a la carte. So you can also mix and match the whole ecosystem together to kind of suit your needs, even including the flight case. Now, I also have with me here today, Mr. Jake Stevenson from Golden Peaks Productions. Jake was made aware of this kit very early on in concept and development. Um, he's going to tell you a little bit about Golden Peaks Productions, what they do, and their life with speed rail before the PSC and kind of how the PSC has kind of changed the game. Yes, thanks for having me, Zach. So I started about six years ago now, like anyone who films cars hanging out of convertibles with gimbals, right? Which then we met pretty quickly because I saw the classic motor crane get launched. I was like, dang, these guys are in Minnesota. That started our conversations. And so then you introduced what could be the PSC unit one day. And so I went and I got it from you and, and we've had it for about a year and a half. We found a niche kind of in the road rallies across America. We've done 25 of them now in the last five years and probably 15 or more have been on this. Um, we've probably put 65,000 hard miles on it. We've been across the US with it. We've flown with it in the flight cases. We've shipped it in the back of our camera cars. The convenience of this, just bolting it together, it takes us maybe 20 minutes to put up. We can show up on set, unload the car, build the car, hang the camera, and we're good to go. And last summer we did a big project with Alex Choi, who's on YouTube. We turned his McLaren 720S into the camera car for the shoot, and we were revealing his Superleggera Huracan which is supposed to be a street legal version of the race car that outperforms what Lamborghini built and called the STO. So we've talked about what the PSC is, what's included in the PSC Complete, as well as the starter kit. Now let's do a real world demonstration of actually using this to rig up one of Jake's cars. Let's do it. So the way that we usually build on this car is we've got an OEM roof rack that bolts directly to the vehicle. And then back here, we use the OEM tow hook, which you'll see, and I just welded some speed rail to the end of that. So in this case, it's more custom to this vehicle. Other options you could use from Flowcine, the stub mount. And then we'll actually send our vertical clamped with a swivel clamp straight up. And then we'll send the horizontals or the supports from the roof rack and they'll all triangulate kind of where Zach is standing. And then from there, we then hang our camera package. Yep. So in this case, we're using the Flocini black arm, and that's an important thing to reiterate, is that PSC system is not specific to Motocrane products. This speed rail system can be used with anything that's rigged to one and a half inch speed rails. So your Flocini black arms, your custom easy Raptor arms, your Gremzy Zion arms, or Motocrane's own ultra isolator and SRB, as well as our radical isolator and SRB. Up here, we just have these nifty little covers 
they'll cover if you put your finger kind of down in there and flip it up. That will reveal where we will set the roof rack. Swivel clamps are friends, and I have already got the two mounted on the roof here. Um, and this is about inch and a half, maybe two inch diameter, so it clamps on really nice. And then this is already set up to feed the speed rail to the back. So I just gotta tighten that to the roof quick. Now, if you don't have an OEM roof rack, obviously you could use the SSG kit that Motocrane sells, which we do on our other cars or pretty much any other car that we don't have roof rack access to. So in the absence of a hard mounted roof rack solution like Jake has here in his M3, Motocrane offers the SSG kit, which places our nine inch cups right at the corners of this roof here. And then that gives you a speed rail mounting point for triangulating that load to the rear tow hook. Or you could do that, uh, the A pillars to go to the front as well. And what I'm using here is, this is actually a factory tow hook that screws into BMW. Um, I bought some speed rail. I did some, uh, some fabrications and welded it directly. Fabrications. Fabrications. Welding in my garage with Jacob. Otherwise, what we use on a lot of rental vehicles, because every car will have a tow hook at some place, we use the Flocini stub mount, and then that allows us to clamp anything. This clamp I'm holding here is actually from Motocrane. It is a swivel clamp that you would buy that is pretty industry standard that then has been welded into a fixed 90 degree. 90 degree. So if you see here, and we use this as the base clamp. So if we slide it onto our tow hook and we get it mounted in the general area that we want, I have confidence now that there's not any additional play or the ability that if a clamp failed here that the entire vertical would swivel and fall off. So then we move into the most wonderful thing ever created, the Motocrane PSC Complete. So I have all of my measurements figured out for this vehicle. I use a four foot section and a two foot section to reach from the roof rack to the vertical here. We're gonna bolt together our, our speed rail with the couplers. And you're gonna have a two foot that comes off of there? Yes. Go ahead. Typically, as I'm building the car, I'll kind of get all my rail set up, laid out. So this is gonna be one of the horizontals reaching from the roof to the tow hook. And we'll build our second one now. It's a very simple and straight to the point and modular. On the pickup trucks or SUVs that we'll rig, sometimes we'll have to do another six foot section of a four foot rail and a two foot rail coming from the tow hook to get above the roof line. On this vehicle though, it's pretty slick. We, we will actually just use one four foot and that I'll feed into the 90 here. So we get everything approximately laid like this. Obviously this isn't perfectly straight and, and in the shape that we want, but we take two of the swivel clamps and we get them set up on the rail. And I always like to put my clamps at the top to maximize triangulation. Um, so the force is always at the edges of the rails offering the most support. And then Zach, actually, if you want to slide it in there, get it seated and then feed me. So we'll get that seated. I'll let you lay the clamp down. Get everything kind of finger tight so it holds its shape. And then we'll do the same thing for the other side. So this one has a shorter reach and we'll have a little bit of extra pipe on each side of the clamp to play with. But we'll get it fed into position. Nice. Yep. Then we'll lock it in. So it's interesting to see that even on a smaller vehicle like this M3, that a single four foot length is not long enough to reach even from the rear to the bumper, that you need at least a six foot length. And as soon as you get into that six foot length, the single rail becomes cumbersome and kind of difficult to live with for its existence outside of the chute. And then you, you know, talk about a pickup truck or a longer vehicle, we're using eight, 10, 12 foot lengths of speed rail. And so everything will pack down at the end of the day, go in the trunk of the car and it's off home. Yep. So next step here is just to hang the black arm. We'll attach a camera package. Again, make sure she's nice and snug. And then you're set to begin hanging your camera package. So we just walked through how the PSC Complete can be used to rig this Flocini black arm on the back of Golden Peak's BMW M3 using their roof rack. In the event that you didn't have a roof rack, you could use the SSG kit on the roof to create a roof mounted point for triangulating that front or rear load. If you have questions about the PSC system or your application and how the PSC Complete, the PSC Starter Kit, or some configuration of the system might work for you, make sure you get in touch. 
Jake, thank you so much for coming out and being our designated beta tester for 18 months on this system. I feel honored, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.